G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. Now today we're gonna to have a look at this new turbojet brushless powered racing boat here. It's called the Tizen 768. This is a ready to run kit, and it's also known as a Super Dino. They're claiming 30 Ks an hour out of the box. Now this runs on not only 2S, but 3S. It actually comes with included 3S lithium iron pack, which I'll show you when we get to that. And uh, this is currently on sale under $100 at the moment. It's 95 bucks on Banggood, who provide this uh, boat for review, or around $144 Australian. All right, guys, now you can get it in two colors. You've got the blue, and you also got the white one here. I've got the blue one. And as you can see, it's age 14 plus. So let's get it out of the box. We'll have a quick look at it, and then we'll take it on the pond and take it for a rip. All right, guys, as you can see, it comes neatly packaged in this uh, blister pack. Let's take that off side. And first off, let's have a look at the 3S battery here. As you can see, it's an 11.1 volt, 2000 milliamp hour lithium ion pack. So this should uh, really get this uh, boat going on the water. It also has the very common Dean's plug, which I like to see. And that means we can actually charge this up on a hobby grade charger rather than the charger provide which is obviously going to be the uh, USB powered one. So as you see here we've got the charger which is a USB powered one. We've got a little uh, Phillips head screwdriver and an Allen key. Looks like we've got some bracing here to construct a boat stand. Also have a Velcro strap here, the Tizen branding. We also have a little sticker sheet here with some extra decals now it's already fitted with all the decals already on the boat but got some spare ones here or if you want to add some more and we have a fold out leaflet here okay shows you everything you need to know about fitting the battery and as you can see it folds out to become a rather large sheet here so everything you need to know guys is in this pamphlet now to the transmitter for this uh, boat, guys. It's actually not a bad design. It's uh, got an extra bracing support there. Nice feeling trigger. Also nice foam grip wheel, so you can easily run this one-handed. This does take four AA batteries, which I've already fitted because you've got to unscrew that to get to it. Okay, and then replace that screw once you've fitted the batteries. We've got a power button there. Steering drill rate, steering trim, and throttle trim, okay? Got a bind button here as well. If you have any issues with it being bound to the boat, it should be bound from factory anyway. Now these two buttons here, they are clickable, but on the actual instruction leaflet that I just showed you, there's no, no function for these ones. So yeah, they're non-functional. Uh, I'm guessing that with different models, uh, they probably have some sort of function on a different boat, okay? But yeah, neat looking transmitter, and it feels good in the hand as well. All right, guys, so here is the boat itself, and as you can see, it looks pretty cool. It does definitely look like a racing boat. Uh, as you would have seen, you can get this in white if you prefer that color, but I like the blue one. Looks like we've got a little water plug here. If there's water inside, you can just undo that, tip out any water. Okay, it's got the jet propulsion system, of course, because this is a jet boat. And we've got the venting on the bottom to suck up the water. This is water-cooled. And as you can see, it's got the double hull. So it should be really stable on the water. I really like these types of boats. So let's have a look inside, guys, at the electronics. So we've got this lever here to take the top canopy off, okay? Underneath, you can see the secondary uh, canopy there. And we've got that uh, water seal just underneath there to stop water getting in. So you just unlock this. And pull that up. It's got a little... Uh, tab there makes it easy to pull off and as you can see here we have the brushless motor just here now this motor there's no kv rating on the banggood listing so i'm not too sure what kvs it is but it's a 22 one two size brushless motor we have the alloy coupling there for the shaft micro servo which is a three wire which is great to see on these types of boats we've got the little battery bay there to house that lithium ion battery the 3s and we've got some loops there to um, secure that with the Velcro strap provided. And this has a 20 amp, and it says 2S and 3S LiPo ESC just there. As you can see on the ESC receiver combo, it is water-cooled, so we've got all the silicon lines going through, and also goes through 
the alloy motor mount just there and straight out the back of the boat so yeah that's it guys um just got to charge up that battery and we'll take it for a rip on the water all right now they do state we're going to get about 10 minutes run time out of that 2000 milliamp hour um lithium ion pack control range on this is 250 meters so if that's true that's that's a really good uh control range on this one and as i said before this is rated at 30 kilometers an hour which is what they state on the box there all right guys so anyway guys i'll meet you out at the pond we'll take it for a rip and we'll see how this uh new super dino jet racing boat does the tx768 so i'll catch you there okay guys so i'm out at the pond here as you can see i've velcroed in the uh 3s battery with the included velcro strap so let's take it for its first run now i would have liked to have done a, a speed test but i actually forgot to bring my speed reader so i'll have to do that another time first run of this boat see if it needs any trimming That's going pretty straight. Nice and quiet. See the jet of water spraying out the side of the boat there on the left hand side. got some pretty decent speed to it 3s lithium ion pack very stable on the water too guys Wow, she skipped around then, 180. Very sharp turn. And this transmitter is very responsive too, guys. I like the feel of this transmitter, like I mentioned in the uh, on the bench there. No lag at all or anything like that. Really good. They do claim 250 meters range with this too, so that's quite a bit of range. I'm taking it out there. Nice, pretty decent range. Two thousand milliamp hour, three S lithium ion pack in this one. Obviously, you can use your lipos. That dog's barking in the background there I think due to the boat uh, and they they stayed I think 10 minutes pretty sure I mentioned that earlier on in the video yeah I'm liking this so far awesome little jet boat I was that keen to bring it out today uh, it's currently Sunday afternoon um, I forgot to bring my GPS reader see if it can do that 30 kilometer an hour speed to me it looks like it's doing pretty close to that so I'll have to revisit this one and I'll bring my GPS reader as well as a we'll try a 3s lipo on it, it should give it a bit more punch and maybe a couple of kilometers more speed top end yeah awesome boat guys i really like the blue color you can get it in white like i showed you very nice
Never heard of this brand before, Tizen. But uh, looks like they've come up with a winner here. I'm full throttle the whole way, guys. Haven't lifted off at all. <laughs> Sometimes it'll skip there and then jump out of the water a bit. What an awesome little jet boat. The twin hull design makes it so stable. Just chopping through the water, not a problem. And of course, you can slow it down, you know, if you wanted to. Just cruise around. Decent run time. Like I said, I've been flat out the whole time, guys. They haven't really lifted off. Except for when I just showed you that you can go a bit slower with it. If I find any info about the KV of this motor, I'll definitely uh, put it up on the screen. It's just that Banggood doesn't show, it just shows the 2212 size. But I'll have a look online elsewhere, maybe AliExpress has got these in stock and maybe a vendor has supplied the, uh, the KV of this motor, but at the moment it's unknown. I'm thinking it's more than likely, you know, maybe 3,000 or something like that. Maybe 3,500 kV. Uh, it looks like it's about to slow down a little bit now. Controls are perfect on this, guys, on this transmitter. Very responsive. No delays whatsoever. That's just me cutting off the throttle, guys. It's not uh, the boat playing up or anything. Just uh, seeing how the punch is off the line. <laughs> Pretty awesome. All right, guys, I'll do one more lap around here and then we'll bring it in. Don't want this video to go too long. I'm not going to run it down to a flat battery, but gives you a good idea of this boat. Let's do a couple more donuts. Nice, very tight circles there. All right, guys, let's bring it in. And uh, yeah, I'm impressed with this one. Great little uh, jet boat here, guys, from Tizen. It's a T. X768. Awesome little jet boat, guys. I highly recommend it. I had a lot of fun with this one today. And like I said, I will revisit this one soon. Uh, I've definitely got to bring my GPS system and I'll bring another 3S battery. I'll go with the LiPo as well. We'll test it out on the standard uh, lithium ion pack that we've got here today that comes with the boat. And then I'll put in a LiPo and we'll see how fast it actually is. To me, it looks like it's pretty close to if not 30 k's an hour on the water but uh yeah like i said i'll do a follow-up video as soon as i can all right guys well if you're interested in this one 
I'll leave the link to Banggood to this boat. Like I said, you can get it in the white color as well if you don't like the blue, but I really do like this blue color. And yeah, I'll leave a link in the description. You can check it out there. I think it's currently on flash sale at the moment. Yeah, if you're definitely interested in this boat, now's a good time to snap one up. Guys, thanks for watching, as always. And if you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe, like, and comment. And make sure you hit that notification bell. More reviews to come soon, guys. So stay tuned for those, and I'll catch you on the next video. What's the jet speed